Uh, anyway, here we are again um, up near Wick in the far north highlands of Scotland. Um, I just showed you what uh, is commonly known as Tinkler's Cave and uh, I've just found this other one just beside it which presumably would have been used too. I didn't realise or I'd forgotten there were two caves. I think the first one is the one in the picture but this one I'm going to explore as well. It's deeper and much slimmer and I can't see... oh my god yeah it's a bit treacherous getting in on these slimy stones uh, um, let's get in Oh, this does stretch quite far back. Quite a claustrophobic feeling as you come in here. God, gee whiz. My goodness. I have never been up this far and it does stretch away far back. Let me see, I got a stone. I haven't got a light unfortunately. So that is going some distance back there. Yeah, God, Jesus. It's quite scary when you, <laughs> it's just a pigeon going out. Ah, this is, this is probably, this is bound to have been used by them as well. Yeah. So, be like a semi-detached house. You had two places, one next door to each other, or maybe two different families. So a couple of written, written records that I'd put up on uh, the internet, got quite a few views. So I just thought I'd make a quick video showing you the place where it was. I'm actually looking to see if there's anything carved into the walls but would have been worn away by the sea no doubt. But this definitely looks to me like it would accommodate a lot more people. Um, very, very slim, very narrow. Um, people would have to lie along the length of it. Yeah, there's nothing much to see, no remnants of the occupation. God, it's slippy. So, um, yeah, okay, I'll come out and leave it at that. So these are the homes, former homes of the cave dwelling peoples of Caithness, known as Tinklers. Uh, a fine proud people with a, a great um, history and heritage and um, there we go.